Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to our new fall emphasis that we're calling 58 Days of Compassion. Here we're going to be looking at a number of different issues that face our own lives, that face the church today, and how do we respond with the compassion of Christ. And we're basing it on Isaiah 58, where God through Isaiah is really you know, calling the sins of the people out. Look with me at Isaiah 58 verse 1. I'll just read a few verses this morning. Shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. Shout aloud. Don't be timid. Tell my people Israel of their sins. So here are their sins. They act pious. They come to the temple every day. They seem delighted to learn about me. They act like a righteous nation that would never abandon the laws of God. They ask me to take action on their behalf, pretending they want to be near me. We fasted before you. Why aren't you impressed? We've been hard on ourselves and you don't even notice. I tell you why I responded. God saying this, it's because you are fasting to please yourself. In other words, they were going through some sacrifices of worship, sacrificing uh, some hardship on their own lives through fasting, and yet it never made any difference in their life. They were uh, putting hardship on their own lives, but they weren't noticing the hardship that was out in their world, that was out in their community. Because then God later says, no, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free. Remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry. Give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them. Do not hide from the relatives who need your help. Here God is speaking a very clear word, calling out the sins of the nation of Israel. You're acting like you know me. You're acting like all righteous, that you are going through the motions of fasting, going through this motion of worship, and yet you are ignoring my very heart, my very heart for people who are in need. Instead of noticing the hardship that's happening around them, they are applying this hardship because they simply wanted, okay, God, if I worship you, then I'm going to get some blessings from you. And their worship was all about them. Meanwhile, they are totally ignoring the real needs out there. And so that is the journey that I, I believe we're all on. And I hope this chapter speaks conviction to your life as it has in mine. Can we, this fall, really look at the needs that are all around us? And not just to meet social needs, but to meet needs as an avenue then to share the living hope of Jesus with people. Listen, our world needs the hope of Jesus. We see it all around us. We see it in families. We see it in your family. How can we reach out beyond ourselves and show the compassion of Jesus to others? Can I pray around this? God, I just would ask that there's a lot here in Isaiah 58. And so this fall, I would ask that you would speak to our lives. Help our relationship to be real with you, not just about ourselves. Oh, Jesus, it was not just about yourself, but how you gave of yourself to others. Jesus, help us to follow in your footsteps, I pray. Teach us this this fall. Amen.